What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm shipping out some items I've sold on eBay. Then I'm going to go thrifting and try to find some more stuff to make money. I got this EOR backpack I picked up at Goodwill recently. I paid $6.99 for it, I think it was. It sold really quick within about three days. Sold it for $30 plus shipping for a total of $47.18. Here's another thing I picked up at Goodwill recently. I paid $2.99 for this vintage Pokemon binder. It does have some creases there in the cardboard. You can kind of see there on the camera. Uh, so I had to sell it a bit cheaper than what I wanted to. It has some other wear on it. So I sold it for $20 plus shipping. Still a great flip. I picked up a Power Legs foot massager at Goodwill for $12.99. I was going to sell the unit with the remote power supply and everything for $100 bucks plus shipping. However, it wasn't working quite right, so I didn't really want to sell it and maybe get a return. I wasn't sure if it was working properly. There were some indications that it wasn't. Also, there's a lot of very, very bad reviews for these things. They break very easily. So I ended up parting it out. Here is the remote. I sold it for $30. And I'm also selling the foot pads and the power supply. So in the end, selling these parts, I'm still going to make almost the same amount of money profit-wise as I would have just selling the whole unit. I think it's about $15, maybe even $20 less than I would have made. Still going to be some amazing profit. I got another one of these curling irons I bought at Walmart. Paid about $2 for these. Sold this one for $26. So back when I was getting those Salvation Army Palace and going through a lot of stuff, uh, there was a categories game in one of them, and you know, they're not worth a whole lot especially in the condition it was in. Rather than just donate it or throw it away, I just listed these pieces for $14.99 on eBay, and they sold, and then it's actually an international order. Buyer paid $38.14 for these. Never underestimate what somebody's willing to pay for something. Sold this bread pan and paddle for a bread maker. Ended up selling it for $29 plus shipping for a total of $42.74. Yeah, I probably got just a couple dollars in the whole bread maker. I'm pretty sure it came from a thrift store. Picked up this Wee Crafts Munch and Bunch of Bunnies um, craft kit. Uh, I've paid about two, three dollars for this at Goodwill. It's open box. It's never been used. Had to disclose that I wasn't sure if the paint was still good. So yeah, I ended up selling it for twenty five dollars plus shipping for a total of thirty seven twenty five. Picked up some of these gas vents at Home Depot. Paid five dollars for them and selling them for forty five bucks. I ended up buying about 150, maybe even 200 of these Lowe's liquidation lighted power blocks. Paid a dollar a piece for them. And I've been selling packs of three for about 29 bucks. I picked this up at Goodwill for $2, a little pocket travel game, and I sold it for $18. Picked up this Lucifer plush from Cinderella Disney Store, and I'm sad to see it go. I kind of wanted to keep it. I think it's a really cool looking plush. However, I can't keep everything I like because we got to make that money. So I ended up selling it for $35 plus shipping for a total of $66.82. It's an international order. Then finally, I'm shipping out this Ostracizer blender I got at Goodwill. I think I only paid like $3 for this. Some of the old looking, old style, small appliances, especially with the wood grain, can do okay on eBay. I ended up selling it for $30 plus shipping for a total of $47.38. And now we are out here grinding. We're in this Goodwill looking for some money. Got a key safe thermostat. Uh, I don't even know if that was a real thermostat. It might be something you hide a key in outside. Uh, got a little glass thing up there. Just checking it out, making sure it's nothing valuable. Light bulbs. You know what? Thrifting and doing retail arbitrage. I'll never have to buy light bulbs again. I got so many in stock here. So it's great. Plus all the LED bulbs. They last so long now anyway. We got a little crock pot down there. Some crock pots are great to pick up. I mention all the time, but I see something over here that catches my attention right away. 
and Goodwill never ceases to amaze me. You never know what you're gonna find. This is a KitchenAid Pro line, $20. I sold this very quickly, got a ton of money for it. Trying to pick it up here with one hand while recording wasn't gonna work. It was quite heavy. Look for the KitchenAid Pro line stuff. Um, you just don't expect to see that kind of stuff in Goodwill because they price stuff up. I mean, it was priced pretty high, I guess, $20, but you know, still that's an incredible deal at $20. Usually you find those things at an estate sale or a yard sale and people still want 50, 75 or 100 bucks for them. So finding them $20 in that condition as well. Awesome pickup. So yeah, I am looking here in this miscellaneous stuff. Love to look through this stuff. You never know what you're gonna find. You could find filters. Some Starbucks mugs, you got these cardboard boxes like dirty old curtains, you know, some people maybe they want dirty old curtains, not me. Uh, I don't know, maybe some used curtains are worth picking up, who knows, there's so many things that are just bolos out there, things that you wouldn't expect to be worth money. I talk about that kind of stuff in the videos all the time, so make sure you're subscribed, <laughs> throw in a little plug there. Uh, I got some golf putter putters down there, not really worth picking up. Some sealed Play-Doh, some kid's gonna enjoy that. Uh, not me, I don't want it, not gonna make any money. There's a Civil War puzzle over there, a thousand piece. I don't buy used puzzles usually. That one maybe was worth looking up, kind of unique. I have sold like a, a used DuckTales movie poster. I got like 40 or $50 for it on Amazon. It was worth counting out a thousand pieces for that, I guess, maybe. Even when you count out the pieces, sometimes you don't know. There could just be a random puzzle piece in there, right? Somebody goes and puts that puzzle together and there's just a thousand pieces, but you know, a couple of the pieces are from another puzzle. Someone's not gonna be happy with you and not gonna be happy, leave bad feedback, complain, wanna return it. I just, you know, I just don't wanna mess with used puzzles. Used board games, it's a little bit different. Uh, there's not as many pieces, you can count them pretty quickly. So I do sell those on Amazon. Had some of them, that spy gear stuff down there, some of the vintage, spy tech stuff from the 90s like i had when i was a kid worth picking up pretty good money spy gear stuff i checked into it a little bit the newer stuff kind of worth a little bit maybe uh still not worth picking up there got a little tech deck thing in there i buy a tech deck if they're if the lot's big enough one little item there wasn't really worth it for me uh what else we have here in the toys not a whole lot unfortunately but still got a look checking out this in cap here hoping to find some treasure and you know what i did find some treasure on this in cap down here i see this box what is this could this be a department 56 item no it's a clay works item blue sky some of these are worth an incredible amount of money that one's rare you know <laughs> probably at least a couple hundred dollars there and i'll be going over everything at the end uh, what I found, how much I expect to make. Some very good quality items today. I'm at Salvation Army now. I got this Magnavox combo unit I want to buy. $15, no remote. I'm trying to test it, make sure, you know, it at least turns on and works. However, fast forward was not working. I put a VHS tape in there. And uh, based on that knowledge, it wasn't worth picking up. No returns at Salvation Army, so I can't buy it and test it at home and return it. Not going to risk $15 um, with the fast forward button not working properly at another goodwill now and just looking through the seasonal stuff some halloween stuff some christmas stuff and you know what i don't find a lot of good christmas items i've mentioned before in videos i just don't seem to come across the good department 56 or anything like that but i'm looking here and i find some pretty decent stuff i pick up here is a oh what is it possible dreams i think it is good item here gonna sell might have to wait until next christmas at this point but you just never know um <laughs> people buy this stuff all throughout the year so i'll probably go ahead and list it list it for christmas prices though i'm not gonna list it you know cheap uh, if someone wants it they're gonna have to pay for it especially the items with good comps and there's none currently listed you know you're just able to price that stuff high until you know someone comes in <laughs> prices it lower than you and then then you, the other person's is gonna sell, obviously. It happens. So we got that green horse I seem to be mentioning in every video still sitting there. Got some ink down there, which would have been great. They want $10 for it. It's been opened. 
Uh, it's probably just someone put their used ink cartridges in there and donated them. It happens all the time. Got that vintage like floppy disk holder, which I looked up. Unfortunately, not worth anything. Kind of cool though. Little black thermostat case, camera case, lens case. I don't know what it was, but this is cool. This is a Sanyo mini disc recorder, not a micro cassette recorder, which I mentioned in the hall part of the video. These are, you know, a different size. They're kind of a rare size. I did sell that. Uh, it's been like a week, so I don't think it's the person had any problems with it. I didn't have a mini cassette to test it. And I just put that in the description. Everything moved and worked. You know, when you hit the buttons, it was very clean. So it seems to be okay. Sold it for 30 bucks. Here's a Norelco Pro Comb. I thought this was going to be worth something at $4.99. Got the case, looked complete. Looked up the comps though. Nah. Just really wasn't worth picking up, so I just left it there. Here's one of these boppets. Of course, I just had a video out where I sold one of these for $230, brand new, sealed on Amazon. They still sell $50, $60 used like that. That one, when I pushed the little button, was sticky. It didn't even go down. It was scratched and beat up. You can't sell that stuff in that condition, obviously, and get $50 or $60 needs to be in like new condition to get those Amazon prices. So that went back on the shelf. But I'm just soaking in the toys, trying to spot something that maybe is worth some money. Here's some plastic food. Looks like one of them is McDonald's. Some of the old vintage McDonald's stuff like that could be worth picking up for a few bucks. That one was it. Spot this, uh, Squish Mallow. I believe this is what people tell me to look for. <laughs> I've passed a few of them. I checked it up, looked it up, uh, not worth picking up, at least that one. Some of them do sell $40, 50 $60, they're valuable. That one's a more common one. On to another Goodwill, I'm checking out some shoes here. I got some of these boots and I was gonna buy those. A, I forget the brand now, kind of a brand I don't see very often. However, one shoe was a different size. There's two different shoe sizes there. So I'm glad I caught that before I bought them. See this vintage looking Fitzgerald's hat um, casino, I think it was. And I looked it up, some on eBay listed, but none sold, no good comps. I just sit for a while, so I just left it. I got plenty of hats. Over in the toys, a uh, sealed Paw Patrol like activity kit, not worth picking up. But look, <laughs> look up here, Araco. Not sealed, $1.99 used. I still sell these between $40 and $50 used on Amazon. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And look at this, an old friend. You got this Coca Motion. It's been a few months since I found one of those, but I found a decent amount this past year. Found some new, some used, and I've made a lot of money on those things. But let me show you what I picked up today. Take a look at this haul. It's a little bit small, but there's some great items here. Start back here with these paper towel dispensers. Touchless, automatic. They were $10 a piece at Salvation Army, but I was only charged $10 for both of them. I don't think the color was half off today, so I'm not sure why, why they were half off, but you know, it ends up being $5 a piece for them. I could not find any comps for these on Amazon or eBay. However, I went to the manufacturer website and they had them listed on there for over $100. Seemed like it was about 107, 110, something like that. They are brand new. I opened one before I bought it because it looked like they had been retaped. I wanted to make sure it was what was in there. So I'll sell these as new open box. I should make, I don't know, at least $40 profit a piece on these. So I found some good Christmas stuff at two different Goodwills. Let's start with this nice find here. This is the Blue Sky Clayworks. Great name to look out for, just like Department 56. This is in there. I checked it, took it out of the styrofoam. It's in great condition. And it seems to be a rare one. Some of these can sell upwards to $300 new and pre-owned. Uh, so this one, I think the last one, I, I checked Terapeak. And one sold for $140 or $150. I don't remember exactly. But with it being so rare, I'm going to price it at least $150. Uh, maybe try $200. I think it will sell. Definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can see the updates when it sells. Of course, I'll let you know. Then at Goodwill, I picked up this Carrolltown 2013 Mountain Retreat 
Paid $10 for it. It is brand new in there. I checked it. There's only three of these on eBay. One's new. They're, they're asking $170, I think it was. The other pre-owned ones are priced about $60, $70. This one being new, I'll probably price it about $100, see if I can get a sale. Honestly, you know, I'm probably gonna have to wait till next Christmas. These come from Lowe's, so they're not super special, but people are still looking for some of the older ones, especially if one of theirs gets damaged or broken, uh, they're looking to replace it. Then I have this Possible Dreams Santa Giving Thanks figure. There's none currently for sale on eBay, but there are like four or five comps where these sold between $25 and $45, it looked like. So I'm gonna be pricing this probably minimum $40. I'm gonna try $50. Possibly get a sale there. You see I paid $7.99 for it. And then I picked up this Santa's Through the Decades, number 1840. It looks like I can sell this for about uh, $25, $30 if I remember right. Of course, I checked all these. They're in great condition. And uh, in the end, on all this Christmas stuff, uh, it's going to be some great profit. So, of course, I found a used Racco I picked up. I've been finding uh, quite a few of these. Just a couple weeks ago, I think I picked up a brand new sealed one. But I sell these used on Amazon and they sell $45, $50 pre-owned all the time. I sell them for about $75 new before. It just depends how many people selling them and how many people are looking for them. They definitely do better around Christmas time. It was only $1.99, so of course I picked it up. I picked up this Sanyo uh, little micro cassette recorder. Never come across this model before. $10 though. It's what I paid for it. A lot of times these don't work. And if it doesn't, I'm probably just going to return it. There's currently none of these listed on eBay for sale. Well, there's a couple listed for parts is all. And yeah, I think the other one sold for about $30. So I'll probably price this about $40 since I'll be the only one selling it. Then right here, I just picked up this GE Percolator. Uh, it was $5. It's very clean. Looks like it might not have ever been used. Probably wouldn't have bought it if I had to clean it or prep it or anything. It's ready to... Be photographed and listed. Look like it's selling between $20, $25 plus shipping. So went ahead and grabbed it. Here's a familiar friend. I've picked up quite a few of these in the last year or two. They always sell great. The Coca Motions. I've found them new. I've found them used. Uh, seems like the last one I sold, I got about $40, $45 plus shipping for pre-owned. It's got the paperwork in there. Now I haven't checked the prices on these in a while, so maybe they've dropped in price a lot. I think they're, they should be pretty good with it being winter and a lot of people drinking hot cocoa. But I'll throw an estimate on the screen how much I expect to make on this. At $2, you know, it's a no brainer. It just went in the cart instantly. And then back here, I got a really nice find. This is a KitchenAid blender. You can see it says ProLine. As soon as I saw that, I grabbed it right away. At first I thought it might be a Vitamix, but these ProLine KitchenAid mixers, they're great money. Some of these pre-owned can go upwards to $250, $300. This model is a bit more rare. One literally just sold for $140 and the only other comps for this model was just the pitcher here, which sold for $100 without the base. So you know it's a, a good model. Um, I'm gonna price this minimum $150. I'll probably shoot for like $175 uh, plus shipping. In the end, I think this is gonna be about $125 profit. It's super clean as well. It's got the paperwork. You love to find it. But there it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I really wanna thank you for watching. Got some great profits gonna be coming in on these items. Before you go, hit that like button for me. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's very important. Ring the bell. Make sure you're notified for the new videos. I really do appreciate it. This has been Wick. Till next time.